Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. It's a cute little Easter basket. It's super easy to make. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the following video. I made it with Flirty Flamingo, my sample, but we are using Calypso Coral, and that measures six by six. Um, we have a scrap of basic white, another piece of Calypso Coral that measures um, three quarters by six inches, and then we have the Play In With Patterns Designer Series Paper. Now this is in the annual catalog. Uh, here's the paper chart. So you can see all the different colors that's in this. But like I said, I suspect this paper is gonna retire. And I don't, I don't think I used it, but a couple times. And I'm sad because I should have, I do like it. Okay, so let's continue with the measurements. Um, so all of these are playing with patterns designer series paper. So we have four pieces that measure one and three quarters by one and three quarters, and then one piece that measures um, a half an inch by six. I may have given y'all the wrong measurement for this one. I can't remember. Did I say three quarters by six? This is three quarters by six. This is a half an inch by six. Yeah. And then I have two scraps of basic white that is a half inch strip. We only need one but you guys know I cut for extra just in case I mess up. We're gonna start with stamping. So I've got my little scraps here, my little stamping basket. We're using the Springtime Joy again. I'm gonna be using it a lot, like in the next week and a half because I love it so much and why not? It makes me happy. So I'm just going to stamp her. I hope the new catalog has lots of animals. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Um, yeah. That's the first thing I do, and I always have. Like, I remember when we used to have convention, I would sit down in the middle of the floor and pour through that catalog, looking on every page for animals. Okay, now for the greeting. I've done this before. Uh, almost every time. Uh, so Melissa asked, what do I do with my retired products? I, uh, in the past, have donated a lot of them to our local schools. I have sold some, uh, like if you go over to my blog and you clip, clip, click on um, Chick Shop and then click on Retired Product. I do have some items over there. Uh, but there's a local school here uh, that takes a lot of my um, takes a lot of my retired product. Sometimes I give them to good customers uh, if they're looking for something. Uh, yeah, so that was a great question. Okay, I'm stamping Easter, and I didn't mess up. Yay! Whoops. We are using uh, Granny Apple Green, uh, Gray Granite, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Calypso Coral, and Highland Heather. Isn't that a beautiful spring mix of colors? I love it. Now, we're going to start with the Flirty Flamingo. Wait, that's not Flirty Flamingo. This one is. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of pink in her ears and her cheeks. And then I'm gonna take the Highland Heather and I'm gonna color one flower. Thanks for cleaning the kitchen, Brookie. Uh, now, Daffodil Delight. Calypso Coral. All of these are the light colors. Granny Apple Green. And Gray Granite. Okay, so I'm just going to... Okay. 
Now we're gonna cut her out with the stitch shape dies. Let me tell you, if these things retire, I will be crying. <laughs> no joke. I will, unless they come out with a different size. Oh, uh, I forgot to color my butterfly. That's okay. It will be easy to color. There she is. Well, let's fold this up. I'm gonna take that Calypso Coral and color the um, butterfly. We're gonna fussy cut that little thing. Yeah, I don't much care for rodents, but you know, if it's a stamp though, mice can be really cute. Yeah, I think uh, I think most animal or, or rodent or insect can be cute when it's a uh, stamp. <laughs> okay, I messed up cutting. That's what I get for talking. That's okay. This we're just going to cut like that. Now we're going to take our six by six, so we're done with our stamping, and we're going to get our Simply Scored Scoring Tool. Oh, guinea pigs would be so cute. You're right. I like cute animals. This is like the cutest bunny we have ever had, ever. I mean, ever. Okay, so um, we're gonna score this where? I got so excited about someone saying a bunny that um, I'm gonna score this at two inches on all four sides. I'm sorry, I'm all crooked. So two inches on all four sides. Yes, I like whimsical. That's a good, a good explanation, whimsical animals. Um, this grid paper is older than dirt. No, it's old, it's really old. That's why it's different from everyone else's. It's before they ever, um, now there's writing on the back. That was a good question. Yeah, it's just it's just old. I I um like when Stampin' Up has like a free shipping or when they have a sale, I will stock up on things that I use a lot of. So I had once one upon once upon a time stocked up on a bunch of grid paper and um like Whisper White cardstock. So like when that stuff stole out, I I can't remember how many packs I had. I used them all though when I was packing up the bingo uh, packets because I sandwich everything. Uh, with cardstock to protect it. Okay, I'm talking a lot. Um, so I scored on all four sides at uh, two inches. We burnished, folded on the score lines and burnished. And now we're just gonna cut up to the score line on two sides parallel to each other. Uh, Hubs is out of town, so we can actually chit chat later after the after we make the project. Um, yeah, because he's out of town. I have to work like a dog this week. I uh, I mean, y'all know bingo is Saturday, so I I I have lots and lots to do. So it's probably a really good thing. Um, he doesn't like it when I don't take care of myself, so. It's good that he's he's at the lake fishing with his friend. He does help me when he's here, but sometimes, those of you that are married know what I'm saying, sometimes it's easier to not have them around. Like I can stay up till midnight um, cutting, and he would be saying at like 9.30 or 10, when are you, gonna, when are you going to bed? No. 
I don't I don't work that way. I work until I can't work anymore. So, hey, we, it'll be 30 years we've been married in November, so we know each other very well. Strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Now, so we've added our designer series paper. And there's no way I'm gonna be able to cut all that out on my YouTube video. Grr. Oh well. Sorry guys. You just have to talk when you're wait, come back here, glue. And now I'm gonna add the designer series paper strip to this. Yeah, I should do all that talking when there's a when there's a section that I can snip out. Okay, now for the assembly of this project, because we got all of our pieces ready. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, bring this up like that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of adhesive right here. Come here. And then I'm just gonna hold it for a second and let it dry. So we're making a little Easter basket. Oh gosh, y'all, when y'all y'all are talking about getting no time alone, well, we'll talk, let's talk about this after I make the project. Oh my gosh, I talked to two friends. Uh, yesterday I talked to my one of my very best friends for like over an hour and we're both like, man, these men have gotta get out of the house. They gots to go. The COVID is just really, <laughs> It's done a number on all of us, right? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking for a second. So this side's done. Now we're flipping over to this side. So the same thing, I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on this one right here. Okay. Now we're gonna, we're gonna add some adhesive to these two little tabs inside there because the front looks good, the back looks good, but we really need to seal those. And it's best to do this at this stage, okay? So just add a liquid, liquid glue to both of them and then we'll hold it for a second, okay? Not only did my husband stop traveling, stop flying, but now he's in the house 24 seven. I eat three meals with that man. I've never spent, <laughs> he's always traveled for work since, since we met. Like I met him on a Saturday and he went out of town on Monday. So uh, he was a part-time dad because he traveled. Um, so yeah, <laughs> y'all hear what I'm saying? Okay, so now to add the handle, um, see how that right, see that, it, the edge right there. So we're gonna butt this up next to that and attach it. So just add a little bit of glue right there. Now in the old days when I've made this basket, except you want it in the center of that little point, okay? There we go. So I'm gonna hold it for a second. <laughs> um, I used to use brads to attach this. We don't currently have brads in our catalog, so Y'all know I try to never really use retired product because if I use retired product, then you can't get it. So that's how it looks. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So a little bit of glue. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that too. <laughs> same husband stories just different husbands. So true, Margaret. <laughs> okay, so here's our cute little basket. Isn't it cute? Okay, now we're gonna add our um, embellishments and our ribbon. And I'm looking here and I don't see my ribbon. There it is. So I'm gonna use the uh, Calypso Coral Ribbon that's in the Ornate Garden. Is it in the Ornate Garden? 
Yes. Ribbon combo pack. I suspect a lot of our ribbon's gonna retire also, so make sure you get your favorites. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie a cute little bow. Maybe not so little, but definitely cute. We'll clean that up in a minute. Now she's just gonna get added right to the middle. So I'm just gonna put some liquid glue. One of my Stampin' Up! orders came in today. I think it, I think, I don't know, I didn't open it. Uh, I think it might be the, um, the March 1st through 15th host code gifts. I hope so. Okay, she's crooked. Hold on. There we go. And then now we're going to add um, Easter down here. So just add a little bit of liquid glue. You can use a glue dot if you want. I got a little too much there. And then we're gonna use a little mini dimensional for the greeting. Ooh, where's my take your pick tool? I don't know. I'll just use my little Duma Fletchy. Hey, that little circle that I'd lost the other day, uh, I still have not found it. Now we have our embellishments. Oh, there she is, laying upside down, or sideways. Um, so we're gonna add three of the pearls. Now I have been adding pearls to um, these flowers. I didn't on my sample, but I'm going to now because it's just too cute to not. sure what people call this stuff. I call it crinkle paper, but who knows what it's really called. You could use little uh, Easter grass if you want to. Um, yeah. Isn't it so cute? I'm trying to think. I have a whole basket, a whole thing of, um, I love these things, these little trolley, these little sour, uh, sour thingies. So clearly they will fit in there. Um, Laffy, mm, I like Laffy Taffy too. So look, Laffy Taffy will fit in there. Of course, you got your Hershey Kisses. Those fit in there. Mmm, Dove Chocolates. Oh, that's a dark one. That's dark chocolate. I can have that one. A little Twix will fit in there. See, it looks like it's a little basket, but it actually will hold a lot. Let's see what else is in here. Mmm, razzles will fit in there. Hey, I think even a Burt's Bee will fit in there. Look at that. I made all that fit in there. Okay, y'all have a great night.